Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly. I am a busy mom to two small kiddos, Sawyer who is three and Vivian who is one and we are preparing right now as I film this for a big kind of epic family vacation to Brazil. So we will be doing some family visiting. My husband is from Brazil and his, a lot of his family, all of his family still live in Brazil. So this will be a great trip for us getting to take the kids. It'll be their first time going to dad's um, country of birth, home country. And um, in addition to a lot of family visiting, which we're very excited about, we're also gonna get away for about a week and go north to Brazil's famous beaches um, in the Baja area. So we're thrilled for that. Um, we're not we're not local to a beach. Um, we don't have membership to a local pool. We don't get out much. Um, poolside or beachside so I really had to start from kind of ground zero and getting all the gear that we need the swimsuits and the life you know preservers for the kids and sunscreens and things and so I've been doing a lot of research and a lot of shopping and trying to get everything that we would need to make this beach trip a success so I'd love to share what I found with you and see if some of these products might help you if you are beach bound so stay tuned for what's in my beach bag mom edition the first thing, of course, is sunscreen, and we are going to be at a beach resort for over, well, yeah, just at seven days, so almost uh, um, a full a full week for sure. So we're trying to make sure that we don't get burned, because as a kid, that would be the first thing I would do. We would arrive at the beach or arrive on the houseboat or at the lake, and the very first day, I wouldn't put enough sunscreen on, even though my mom warned me, and I would get toasted and I would be so miserable the rest of the trip so I'm doing everything I can to prevent that plus I'm older and my skin doesn't handle the damage as well so I'm just trying to be wiser and keep my kids from getting fried to a crisp as well being so close you know to the equator so far north the sun will be very intense so um, not really knowing what products I would like the best or what would work the best I got an assortment of products <laughs> so let me show you what I found First, the, probably the biggest one is the Bare uh, Mineral Based Sunscreen Spray. This is in a kind of a coconut, vanilla coconut flavor. It's SPF 50. It is, like I said, mineral based, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. It is a spray, which I've heard mixed reviews on. One, it's easier to apply, so perhaps you apply more frequently. But because it is a spray, it goes on lightly, and often people don't spray enough on to, to fully cover. So we got the big adventure size which is what we're on and I'm hoping that um, this one makes it easy to spray all of us and um, and helps us to continually reapply every time we get out of the water that same kind of theme is a spray I got a SPF 30 for specifically for kids this is a kiss my face brand also a mineral based this one should um, whereas this one goes on sheer which I like this one has a white tinge so it should be easier to see where we're applying for the kids and be able to um, hopefully not miss any spots so um, the kiss my face face brand is also a brand I I actually have used some of their skin products and liked so I was familiar with the brand and excited to find this in spray a spray format for kids um, kind of like the probably most common one you can find at every you know grocery store or Rite Aid Walgreens is just the banana boat kids this is an SPF 50 um, it, I liked this one specifically the tear free sting free portion of it um, and plus we might start this is just a thicker cream so we might start with this and use the spray as kind of a backup um, maybe even just double double uh, coverage and then one I tried for myself, I'm gonna, I'm excited to try is Ocean Potion. It's SPF 50. Uh, it's got a really great scent. It's called the Scent of Sunshine. But it's got a lot of, uh, it's got different ingredients. It's not just mineral based, but a lot of the big no's, the chemicals that are big no's, have been left out. And this one is uh, reef friendly. So since we are on the beach, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try to find a suntan lotion that is, you know, is not. Um, harmful to the marine life and, and the and the reef so i'll let you know i'll follow up in a short uh, review after our trip and let you know which one was the best which one uh, seemed to work the best which one was easiest to apply and then the final kind of sun you know sunscreen i got is this stick 
This is a Sun Bum Stick, SPF 30. It is uh, white. And you can dial it up, um, but it's perfect for faces. So if your kids are anything like mine, they resist putting on sunscreen like you are trying to cover them with, yeah, I would say dirt, but they like to be covered with dirt. So they hate getting sunscreen on. And so inevitably I'm trying to put it around their face and they're moving and it gets in their eyes and then they're melting down because their eyes are stinging. So this little stick um, we have already used this summer and has come in just like a miracle for putting sunscreen on around their eyes and on their faces and it is uh, like I said white tinged so it's easy to see where I'm applying and hopefully will prevent you know any um, major meltdowns over putting sunscreen on final thing for the beach um, you know in this like little bag I'm putting together is the off-brand deep woods bug spray um, our one little guy he has a severe reaction I, mean, I don't know if i would say severe he has a pretty intense reaction to even just common bugs like a mosquito bite can swell up you know to like a half dollar size so they'll be playing in the sand a lot um and they will be in a very tropical climate so we're bringing bug spray so we can try to avoid some of those more severe reactions i got these clear plastic bags 90 percent of the sunscreen will fit into this clear bag so as we are using them and um as we are putting them on throughout the day we can stick them back in here quickly to kind of avoid um any sticky residue or film or things getting on our camera or um clothes or other things that might be in our beach bag how it zips up pretty nicely again i was able to fit most of our sunscreens in this this the stick and the um off spug spray in here and then this will just go inside the beach bag more sun protection of course you have to have sunglasses i'm not bringing fancy sunglasses to the beach these are just cheap ones they're mickey because we are mickey obsessed at our house um but yeah these will be from for mom the kids each have a pair of mickey mouse sunglasses um, these ones are the cutest because they open like this. Um, I mean, I don't know if your kids are like mine, maybe they don't leave their sunglasses on for long. So these kind of are more of a novelty, but it's going to be, like I said, very hot and very bright. And so I'm doing all I can to keep them protected and shielded from the sun. Um, my three-year-old, he's starting to get a little smarter and he realizes that it is nice to not have the sun in your eyes, um, while he's playing and doing things, um, outside. So you know, I'm going to keep trying with my one-year-old and hopefully at some point she'll realize that, you know, sunglasses are, are not only good for her, but like help, <laughs> help her be able to play, uh, without sun, you know, beaming in her eyes because she doesn't wear her sunglasses. I'm bringing um, a couple assortments of beach hats for her and for my son. Um, this is for the one-year-old because it still has a little chin strap, um, which, you know, will slow her down taking it off. It will not prevent her. It will be off probably in a minute as opposed to just one of these, you know, kind of like canvas fisherman's hat would be off in a second. So the chin strap is my is my hope that I, if I just keep re putting it on and <laughs> refastening it, that she'll just give up and let it go. Um, but it's a nice kind of linen cotton material. This one is for my son. It's more like a fisherman's hat. It's got a nice terry cloth interior. It's a Disney one as well. So it's got a cute little Sailor Mickey on the front. Um, but he actually has started to wear these. Um, and so again, I think it's just because he's getting older and he's realizing like, boy, it sucks to have sun in, the eye, sun in your eyes. Um, so that's a hat for each of them. And then um, my little guy is adorable in a fedora and he often wears this out and about. Um, so, you know, when we're around the resort, maybe not necessarily at the beach, but um, around the pool maybe, or, you know, walking through the, re the resort grounds, he can wear this hat to keep the sun out of his eyes. I'm always torn. I love the idea of a big floppy beach hat. So I bought a really, I think a really cute one. Um, it fits low over my, yeah, it kind of looks silly cause I have my hair clip in, but um, it should be floppy brim. So it'll shade my face, shade my eyes. Um, but I also, of course, am bringing my trusty ball cap because um, wind and sand and messy hair and sometimes you just want to like stick your um, you know your hair up in a ball cap and it also will be good for good keeping my face shaded some other things that are in our beach bag is 
we're doing all we can to not get burned but if we do we have a big jug of after the sun cooling gel with lidocaine um, so I'm hoping I won't need this a lot but if we do get a little bit too uh, uh, too toasted this will be in our beach bag to kind of uh, soothe our skin after being in the sun um, mom hack for the win is um, baby powder to get sand off um, feet and hands and legs and any place it shouldn't be um, you can just kind of like you know dump the the powder in your hand and then rub it over your skin where the sand is and the sand just falls off so I really like this tip my husband actually was a, a lifeguard through some of his high school and college years and he's the one that got me onto it but I, apparently it's a thing like Google it and people have talked about it. I'm like how did I not know this for most of my life that baby powder helps remove sand but now that I know it's in our beach bag swim diapers of course for the kids we always do a size bigger than they need because then um, you know that the sand doesn't get caught up against their skin and then cause quite a bit of chafing or um, you know just rashes so we size up and then you know easily the the sand and debris can kind of like wash out as the waves in the water rinses them so we like the Huggies little swimmers and just size up to avoid uh, a lot of trapped sand in the diaper. I'm bringing wet wipes for the kids these are great um, anti antibacterial hand wipes that help keep the hands clean so these we'll use for you know any sticky spills or um, to kind of wipe our hands before we have a snack or um, something to drink um, and they do I think they work better than the sanitizer gels just because the kids you know they don't properly like rub it into their hands and between their fingers so the little wipes I feel like do a better job so a pack of those is going into our beach bag just to keep uh, our hands clean before we have snacks and, and foods at the beach. A couple of these very small lightweight towels I love I love this idea they're a very soft kind of like a microfiber um, obviously the resort will have towels so I'm not bringing one for the whole family but for the kids who are constantly kind of in and out of the water I want to have something that dries really quick um, and also something kind of bright and colorful to, to you know claim our spot um, at, at the beach on, on the loungers so a couple of these towels really come in handy and they pack up so small um, as soon as they're dry I can just wrap them up and roll them back up. I've got a dispo uh, not disposable, uh, reusable water container. It comes with a sport a pour spout and then um, so we can fill it up with the water with at the hotel before we head to the beach and so we don't have to keep bringing you know disposable water bottles everywhere we go we can use this and then refill it as often as we need so i got this on amazon i i think it's great it's bpa free um it's made here in the u.s and then it actually you can actually roll it up and so it's like extremely compact and small when it's empty and then of course what are we packing all this junk in is a giant tote we are disney vacation club members are huge disney fans so we got this great tote um when we bought in so any kind of canvas tote will work i would say as a mom you, you know you want a large size so not like a small cutesy one but something that's pretty deep that can hold a lot of gear so that's that for us that's what i'll be packing all this stuff in and then in addition some extra kind of beach slash pool or swim gear for, that we're getting is you know our little one is three he has had lessons um swim lessons but he is not proficient and we will be surrounded by water the entire week and I'm just not about to I'm going to do all I can to prevent an accident from happening so we got him one of these really cute little speedo um life pre preservers they buckle in the front they have a buckle that is adjustable at the back and they also have these floaties that go on his arm so we did use it once it worked well it kind of keeps him um upright and more forward instead of like falling backwards so um it's it's kind of perfect it helps him keep him in the proper position for swimming but also not um you know not letting him obviously sink or drown so we got one for sawyer and one for vivian and they will probably be wearing these anytime we are by the pool or at the beach when we are directly with them and swimming with them we may not require them to have on their life preservers 
um, you know, when my husband and I are in the pool with them and interacting with them. So in that vein, um, my husband, my, my son, who's three, he loves to be with mommy. He's a mommy's boy and he gets heavy. And so I looked for something that I could bring that would be, you know, um, something to give my arms a rest but still fun for him so i found one of these great blow up um inner tubes with a little seat for little kids and it worked like a charm this summer at the pool he loved it um so i will be deflating this and bringing it with us for the pool specifically so when my arms are tired and he still wants to be hanging out in the pool with mommy i can pop him in this and i can pull him around and and he'll be safe as long as I'm obviously supervising him, but I won't be my arms will not be killing me So I would highly recommend something like this. It was super cheap for what it is um, And it's certainly not meant to be a, a like a life-saving device, but with with quote careful supervision um, It was a lifesaver for my back and my arms this summer plus he just gets like slippery and Having a little chair where he can sit in and still be cool and in the water the bulk of what I spent a lot of effort trying to get for myself and I'm sure as um, as other moms you can relate is I was not excited about the prospect of spending an entire week in my swimsuit so all the swimsuits I'd had before children no longer fit and were no longer flattering the ones that did fit so I had to start from complete scratch and finding swimsuits for myself I looked high and I looked low I was looking everywhere I was on J Crew. I was on Amazon. I was on Target. I went to TJ Maxx. I went, uh, ordered suits from Miracle Suits. I ordered suits from like, uh, the place I ordered my bra. I ordered suits from, uh, Cup She, which is a new brand, um, that was getting a lot of advertisements over the summer. So I tried on no less than 10 different swimsuits, like, via mail order so I, that's 10 times i had to return products that didn't work so i was getting so desperate but finally i found some things that i really like and i'd like to pass along what i found for swimsuits for me for a mom the first one is a calvin and klein it is a nice salmon kind of color very classic one piece it's got this side rushing um to kind of dis disguise or minimize any mom bulge it's got a beautiful supportive built-in bra with removable cups adjustable shoulder straps so you can get the kind of coverage you need um, for your size it's got a lovely little small gold you know Calvin Klein emblem on the back as well as um, the small little Calvin Klein emblem at the shoulder so just a few little gold accent details the color is actually pretty flattering on me because I have fair skin um, and it was like I said it was a Calvin Klein I wear a size 12 and so it was true to size a size 12 and I was able to find it um, on sale for $18 at TJ Maxx so if I can find a similar brand through Amazon I will definitely link it below because I love this suit the, the materials SPF you know protection of 50 and it's just like such a nice fully lined um, like attractive classic suit and I can't believe it took me forever to find it but it was like I was desperate and I finally found it um, on the clearance clearance rack as luck would have it so I highly recommend Calvin Klein swimsuits now that I have one I cannot wait to wear it um, like I said the material is very thick so it's not um, you know it's a very forgiving fabric it's got just a slight shimmer and shine to it so it's very pretty and I'm very excited about it I got a similar one from Michael Kors also pretty basic white swimsuit it's got a little bit higher cut leg just a small bit higher cut and then it has a beautiful lace up back with a Michael Kors gold detail additionally it also has the adjustable straps it has a very secure sturdy built-in shelf bra with removable cups and it also is a size 12 so true to size for me at least um, the Michael Kors brand it was originally a hundred and eighteen dollar swimsuit and I could be a spokesperson for TJ Maxx because I got it for 30 bucks so I'm just really thrilled 
it's fully lined so i was kind of worried about white but nothing shows um it is a thick very very soft um very very soft material so it feels like a dream on and because it's adjustable i'll be able to get like a perfect fit uh, on my shoulders and my neck area and i cannot wait to wear it so those were the swimsuits i found for me and of course um you know i didn't want to be just in my swimsuit for the whole week so i needed a couple cover-ups and i can't say enough good things about um this particular cover-up i'm going to show you this is a beautiful colorful bright scoop neck short sleeve drop waist with a ruffle kind of skirt from jams world now if you've never heard of jams world i'm just going to show you the tag jams world they are hawaiian based company and um i think they've only been around since the 60s but they're kind of iconic in hawaiian culture because they make all these beautiful colorful dresses um from uh you know, hawaiian rayon so they make it in country um they're not cheap they are not cheap but i will tell you that this dress is 20 years old so my mom bought it when i was a teenager and wore it and then she was getting ready to give it away to the goodwill and she decided to ask me if i liked it and i adore bright colors like she does and i was like absolutely i will take it it washes clean um it does not it doesn't stain it repels st it stains it's miraculous and look how fun and beautiful this textile is i love it there's so many different prints and colors um and so it easily slips over my swimsuit and is an adorable little dress to wear to the you know beachside bar or even into the resort to one of the restaurants with a pair of sandals um and so the the fact that it's over a hundred dollar dress um i i I still would buy it I mean it's held up for 20 years you can like wrap it up really small it doesn't look wrinkled it gets wet and then dries because it's rayon dry super super easy it's incredibly soft so I can't say obviously can't say enough good things about jams world and then for my kiddos sometimes it can be hard to find um, quality swimsuits for kiddos we have my husband and I kind of prefer a more classic look for our kids our kids beach gear swimwear so we love Janie and Jack and so we got a couple of you know end of season swimsuits for our kiddos for twelve dollars or less so this is a Janie and Jack for our little uh, one-year-old it's 18 to 24 months it is a a little kind of like rash guard tank you know t-shirt top that's really cute and has a little bit of a collar and then it comes with these adorable little sailor blue striped uh you know bikini briefs so that's one for her we also got this one is a gap one it is 12 to 18 months so it's a little smaller it's also long sleeve like, because we're going to be so close to the equator the sun is certainly an issue so i'm trying to do all i can to keep them covered um so these long sleeve kind of rash guards are perfect and then it comes with a little ruffle um bikini bottom with a little ruffle you know edge which is so cute so i know this will fit her um uh, but it will be the smallest one so this might be the last trip she gets any use out of it and then the final one also from janie and jack is just a classic little one piece um with you know a little ruffle detail here at the side of the shoulder it is uh so sweet it's a light blue it's hard to see on camera but it's a light blue and white stripe with these black florals um and again this should be because we sized up this is a 2t this should fit her this trip and potentially our spring break trip for next year so those are the finds for vivian again i think the most expensive one was 12 dollars, and then the rest we got um, even cheaper than that so i will link if i can find similar ones from janie and jack or they're still in stock i will definitely link them because they have adorable stuff for little kiddos also needed to get her a little pair of flip-flops so we got her these little baby javianas which is a brazilian brand where my husband's from they make great flip-flops and of course for babies chubby little feet they have these great little you know ankle straps to keep them on so we love javianas so just got a classic navy pair for her 
Um, and Sawyer also is going to be bringing his own flip flop. So let me see, show you some of Sawyer's gear. We got his stuff mostly at Janie and Jack um, because again, that brand just really works for us and our family. As long as we get it on sale, we feel like it's a good value. We don't end up paying a full price for much of it um, because they do have incredible sales and you can get it for just a fraction of the cost. They also have an outlet that's not too far from us and we find great stuff at the Janie and Jack outlet. So let me show you Sawyer's. He's got a little rash guard. Um, this is a 2T and he is three, year old, three years old. So Janie and Jack tends to run a, a little big for our kids, but it is a, you know, SPF 50. It's got the little, you know, buoys there. And he will wear it with these navy and red swim shorts. They're a longer swim trunk for him. They've got a nice adjustable, uh, you know, drawstring waist. And they're just a classic navy and red. Then we have the Janie and Jack, kind of they had a, a salmon line for a while. These are palm trees on these little shorts. Also have um, an adjustable waist here. They have a really fun big logo there at the back, Janie and Jack. And then his rash guard that matches that is this Nantucket um, you know, fishing short shirt that's navy in this salmon color. Um, he has now had this, this is 18 to 24 months and it still fits our three-year-old. Again, this might be the last trip that he gets use out of it. We just bought these for this trip. This is one from the Disney store because we, like I said, we're Mickey obsessed. This is a cute little rash guard for boys, probably a three-quarter length sleeve. Now the Disney store, in contrast to Janie and Jack, runs small. So this is a four, and when I held it up to him, I'm thinking we might get lucky for it to fit this trip, and possibly our spring break trip, um, but it's certainly not, it's not an oversize. It's, it, it fits more like a three than a four. Um, so always consider that when you're buying through the Disney store. It's a UPF 50 plus protection, so I liked that again for the beach. And then these bright blue Jamboree Rest in peace, Jim Barry. We loved you. Uh, swim trunks for little boys coordinate well with that Mickey rash guard. So that's the stuff for Sawyer um, and for Vivian and for Mommy. So that's pretty much everybody in our family. Daddy will have to fend for himself and pack his own swim gear. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've shown you a ton of products. So anything that I can, I will list below in the comments so you're able to kind of look through and see if you can find something um, that might work for you and your family. Uh, please, please, if you could, I'm a brand new YouTube channel and I certainly would love your feedback. So a comment would be great. Um, liking and subscribing would make my day. Uh, and again, I appreciate you spending some time with me. I hope you found some products that you like for your beach bag. And we will talk soon. Bye-bye.